Scott, it's uh, great to be back. Look, uh, two weeks ago uh, in California, we had a tremendous card that people are still talking about. And uh, this week, uh, here at Mandalay Bay, we're presenting another tremendous card. Now, a lot of the credit for these cards has to go, of course, to our matchmakers, but sharing in the credit and the people that make it happen are the people at HBO that insist on good quality competitive fight. So it's a pleasure to bring up to the microphone the Executive Vice President of HBO. Please welcome Kerry Davis. Kerry. Thank you, Bob. Earlier this week, HBO announced the long-awaited return of our critically acclaimed ser Legendary Night series. Our newest edition of Legendary Nights will re retell the story of G Gotti Ward, a trilogy of fights that best exemplify everything that we love about boxing. That trilogy, like the first Rios Alvarado battle, reminds us of just how beautiful the sport can be where two fighters forget about the belts, forget about undefeated records, and forget about playing it safe. When two fighters agree to put their left foot on that imaginary line in the center of the ring and do battle until one guy succumbs. And that is exactly what we saw when Alvarado and Rios met the first time. Now, it remains to be seen if Rios Alvarado will someday be worthy of their own legendary nights. But what we do know for certain is that the fight standing on its own was extraordinary. So extraordinary that HBO Sports, Sports created a unique documentary series style platform, Road to Rio Salvarado 2, which looked back at the first fight and also went into the camps of the fighters and also took a look back at their families as a road to Saturday night and what we all know will be a terrific and compelling matchup. The first Rio Salvarado fight reminded us, unfortunately, of just how rare fights like these are. So we should take a moment to thank both Brandon and Mike, not just for the fight of the year candidate they gave us last year, but for agreeing to come right back and doing it again. We also have to thank Top Rank, which in just the last six months has put together Rio Salvarado 1 and 2, Pacquiao Marquez 4, and Bradley Provodnikov among other great fights. So, and they also put together on short notice a compelling opening bout for our boxing up, for our telecast in Terrence Crawford versus Brandis Prescott. And what will surely be a tough, entertaining opener. So we thank them for that as well. This great night of live boxing will be followed by Road to Donaire Rigondeau, a look at these two great 122 pound fighters as they look forward to their April 13th bout at Radio City. Our HBO start time will be 10.15 Eastern and Pacific, and we hope everyone not lucky enough to be at the Mandalay Bay for this great night of boxing on Saturday night tunes into HBO for all the great action. And if you miss Road to uh, Rio Salvarado, make sure you tune in on Go, because it really is a compelling look at both fighters. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Paul, for making it all happen. Thank you very much, Kerry. Uh, according to my script here, the next speaker was to be Keith Kaiser, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, who apparently isn't here. Uh, there's a rumor, I don't know if it's true or not, that he and the rest of the commissioners are out spending the uh, Chavez fine money. <laughs> 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 